Welcome to another tutorial from Master the Oracle. For more tutorials, see our website at www.rcoracle.net. Also, make sure you sign up to our newsletter, Oracle Tips and Tricks. So just go to rcoracle.net, oracle-tips-signup.html, and enter your name, your email address, and your name, and subscribe, and that's it. You'll be added to our list. Let's have a look at the insert command. The, uh, SQL. This is uh, obviously starts with the keyword insert, and then as you can see on the screen, it puts the keyword into and then provide a table name. In this case, we're going to pick the jobs table, so we insert into jobs, and then in the most simple form, we can just provide the column, the values for the columns rather. So in this case, we need a job ID, so we'll give it uh, something that shouldn't already exist 999. And we'll give it a job title, made up, and we'll give it a minimum salary of um, $10, and a maximum salary of $50. And that's it. So we can run that command, and um, we'll have inserted one record into the job table, as you can see. So. That's the short way of doing it. The disadvantage of doing it this way is that we haven't specified the columns, obviously. So what happens is that it, Oracle assumes that the columns are going to be in the same order as they were when the table was defined. So in this case, we have to provide the values in the order of job ID, followed by job title, followed by max salary, uh, followed by min salary, rather, followed by max salary. Um, so obviously, if we get it wrong, and we insert another row, so we'll the um, order of the columns mixed up so we think it's maximum salary first and minimum salary second and uh, we run that then Oracle says okay that's fair enough because uh, it's got the as long as the type uh, provided is valid then it doesn't care so if you want to avoid mistakes like that we need to specify the columns so in, and that goes before the values. So we specify the columns job ID, job title, uh, min salary, or in this, yeah, so we'll do min salary first and then max salary. And now we can see uh, we, we need to make the minimum, well, usually the minimum salary. Except we've got minimum salary twice, so that won't work. So we change that to max, and we make the minimum we make the uh, minimum salary less than the maximum salary. So change that to twenty, and that to one hundred, and we can run that. There we are. <coughs> so that ensures that we get the columns in the right order. But this only inserts one row at a time. If we want to insert more than run one row at a time, we need to run a query, or run a, a subquery. So let's look very quickly then at using a subquery to insert rows into the table. So we'll pick another table. Um, so we'll pick M2, which is a duplicate of the employee table. It's, in other words, it's got the same columns. So insert into M2 select star from employees and we could add a where clause on the end to restrict the rows that we're selecting and we could specify specific columns that we want to insert and if we wanted to do that we'd have to specify them both in the um, both in the where clause and in the insert so we'd have to select insert into M2, say, um, employee ID, like that, and then select employee ID from employees. If we try to run that, that won't actually work because some of the other columns are mandatory. So we, we just leave it with the select everything. So we 
specify, we won't specify any particular columns, so we select everything from the employees table and we'll run that and we'll see that it inserts 107 rows. Or it was brought to you from rcoracle.net. For more tutorials, uh, just hop over to our website at www.rcoracle.net.